My attitude is that you have to take the long view about it. You have to think of science as a marathon and not a sprint. And you have to also realize if you're working non-stop all the time, you will burn out. I have always tried to balance work and life. So for example, I'm not one of these 24 seven uh, scientists. When I started my biology uh, career, I had a six week old child and a six year old stepdaughter. Well, I couldn't just, you know, uh, ignore uh, my family and just work around the clock. I've always had this idea that, you know, you take weekends off uh, as much as possible. Maybe not the entire weekend, but a substantial part of it. I've always had hobbies. Uh, I've always had uh, outside interests. Uh, even during the middle of the ribosome race, I started learning Spanish in evening classes. These are all ways to get away from your work and, and just do something else. And what I find is when you do that, you come back to your work with renewed vigor. Uh, sometimes you think of things that you wouldn't think about if you were just worrying about it, but you go off and relax and suddenly ideas come to you or you, get, you find a way out of some stumbling block. I would encourage people not to be too narrow and to try and have a good work-life balance.